Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with another New Age review video. Uh, these videos are a bit, bit of a laugh. People seem to enjoy them. Um, I quite enjoy doing them as well because it can really bring out the old uh, sarcasm. I'm quite a sarcastic kind of person, got quite a dark sense of humour. Um, so, uh, but at the same time it's serious work as well. These guys, a lot of these New Agers are deceiving people with their Kool-Aid and uh, these subtle deceptions are leading people into further cul-de-sacs which really uh, equates to more pain more suffering and uh, you know tying people into making them feel good all the time and sort of not really looking at any shadow stuff any darkness um, and as we know it's all love and light rainbows unicorns and uh, I just put on a, a post on my Facebook actually, and it, I think it's an important point to make before I start, is that um, I'm all for positivity and I'm all for hope, um, but what I'm not up for is false hope and fake positivity. And there is a big difference between the two because at the moment I am seeing a lot of genuine um, positive signs um, you know, people are starting to wake up. All right, there's a lot of chaos going on as well. Um, but there is reasons to be, genuine reasons to be hopeful. But these new ages, uh, a lot of them are just propagating false hope, fake positivity, bypassing. And that's where it becomes dangerous and where we can end up in trouble. And uh, so this, this video is the long awaited. Uh, I've had so many requests from this guy, um, Aaron Doughty. Uh, I've struggled, as I struggle with all of them, to actually get through a video. I, the, just the cringe factor on some of these people is off the charts. And he is one that I, I've particularly struggled with because um, I have to go through a lot of the videos to find one that's the right length and, and all that stuff. So um, I've managed to get through this one and I think it's, uh, I think it's a good one to do because... Um, he starts, well, the, the actual title of the video is the Galactic Federation. Now, the Galactic Federation is basically more saviour programming. Um, these are false white light beings. Um, and it's basically an agenda to get people to think that some being outside of themselves is coming down to save us and solve all of our problems and defeat the Cabal and what have you. And so it's a complete deception. Um, really, the underlying uh, issue is that it's teaching people to be passive, uh, teaching them to stand down. Um, and as I say, that others are here are going to come and, and save us. So just in the title alone um, is, uh, is, a, is deceptive. So let's make a start. <clears throat> Guys, if you're new to the channel before we go into this, please hit the like, subscribe, really does help the channel out and uh, triggers the algorithms. So let's get into Aaron and see what he's got to say. Humans on the planet, many of which don't remember that we're all one consciousness, we're all connected. Many of which have been brainwashed into not even getting along with each other. And then you put in this alien threat and we got a lot of, you know, Hollywood beat programming where we're afraid. First thing that I noticed with him is very kind of like salesy. Uh, if you look at a lot of his stuff, um, it's, it's all very kind of a little bit like Ralph Smart. It's kind of refined sort of marketing wise, sort of marketing spirituality, uh, something kind of off with that. Um, that kind of vibe it's all a little bit polished for me <laughs> so let's see BTs and we think it's all this hostile thing and what happens is if they were to land imagine there'd be so many people with guns and afraid and shooting at them they know that that's why they don't land welcome back they're not gonna land because there's no one here that's gonna help uh, save us <laughs> we have to do it ourselves so Stop talking about it, really. On the Daily Vortex podcast with Aaron Dowdy. I've changed the name. Oh, my goodness. The name has changed. It was the Aaron Dowdy podcast. It was the Expand Your Awareness 2.0 podcast. And for the final time, I've rebranded a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. He's rebranded. It's all about a brand for him. That, that's what I get from him. It's all brand. Actually, just seeing uh, on his little flip chart there, He's got um, what Bashar says. 
Now, Bashar is definitely on my radar. Bashar, definitely false white light. Another quote-unquote channeler. I don't trust any channelers. Uh, the symbology, uh, when you go to Bashar's website or his um, videos, uh, you've got all-seeing eyes, pyramids, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, very suspect that he's even got Bashar on that little flip chart there. So, oh, and he's got Trump. And uh, so let's, and Dolores Ka they're all there. <laughs> all the, all the saviors, all the false white lighters. So let's see. This is now the Daily Vortex. The Daily Vortex is where you can go to raise your vibration. There's going to be content posted two, three times a week. So more Abraham BS. I've just done a video on Abraham. We know what she's promoting. She's promoting the poison dart. Just get into the vortex, guys. Get into the vortex and raise that vibration and everything will disappear. On this podcast channel and um, it's around you literally going into your vortex, raising your vibration, understanding that uh, you're a high vibrational being. How many times do these people repeat the word vibration, high vibration? It, again, it's like some kind of hypnosis, some kind of programming. We know repetition is a form of hypnosis. I just wonder if uh, some of this is very well scripted. It almost seems kind of like N NLP kind of stuff. And when you go through this vortex as well, you're able to change your identity, let go of the past. And that's a lot of what we talk about on this podcast. Yeah, just let go of the past. Don't deal with the past. Don't face the past. Don't um, front your shadow. Don't work through it. Just accept it. Another massive new age deception. You know, you can't just, uh, if you've had abuse, for example, just accepting that you've had abuse and not working through that trauma is going to lead to more pain and suffering. How to let go of the past, how to let go of attachment, how to let go of desire, and how to wire in the best version of you and realizing that that's who you are and then also raising your vibration so the more you listen to it the more you raise your vibe that's the idea and that's why now it is called the daily vortex i'll get used to saying it it sounds kind of weird to say right now because it's new and fresh i wonder how his vibration is when he can't leave his home and potentially soldiers on the streets i wonder how his vibration is going to be then is he still going to be sitting in his vortex while all this is going on? Or maybe he's immune to it. Maybe he's got some underground bunker with the other New Age teachers. Might, at now, because it's so new, kind of like, eh, I like Expander Awareness better, the Aaron Daddy podcast better. But the Daily Vortex is your daily go-to place for your daily dose of high vibes to expand your consciousness and to transform your life. So anyways, I'm super excited for this episode. Again, loads of new age buzzwords, vibration, vortex, you know, all this stuff. It's like, a, it's like cocaine for some people. This is more of like a news style episode where I explain what's going on in the world. It is true. The Galactic Federation goes mainstream from a uh, space head Israeli operative person that, you know, has been around this for a long time, has kind of spilled the beans, even said that Trump as well knows about this. And I believe... Of course, Savior Trump knows. Trump's going to disclose. Got a whole load of content coming out about Q, by the way, where another date has passed and nothing's happened. And, uh, yeah, that we, for anyone that's sort of done any kind of research, we know that uh, there is such a thing as Project Bluebeam, whereby I think if all else fails for this cult, they are going to plan some sort of fake fa alien invasion. And for years now, they've been dropping seeds into mainstream media um, about, you know, UFOs and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's all planting seeds into people's subconscious. So when they do pull off this, probably some kind of hol holographic projection mass event, uh, people are already going to be half programmed to accept and buy into it. So he's not talking about anything positive here. He's talking just about another agenda of the cult. Um, so I urge uh, anyone that hasn't looked into Project Bluebeam to do so. Um, and actually, Ronald Reagan said... Uh, many years ago that the one thing that would unite the planet would be an alien invasion and we all know that Ronald Reagan was an actor so there we go any other even though Obama denies 
that he's um, known about this. I believe that Obama has known about ETs for actually even longer than when he was president, personally. Um, that's just the vibe I get, the feeling I get. But there's a lot of research that points to this. You just kind of have to like go through and have your own discernment because some of the stuff you will read on this probably isn't true. Um, but in general, I believe that uh, now is one of the most exciting times to be alive on the planet than ever before. And I'm super excited to be here with you. And uh, yeah, this... It looks like he's reading a script or something. He's sort of just staring... I don't know, maybe he's got some kind of... Uh, I don't know, document he's reading from there. Just doesn't seem to look at the camera or look at anywhere else. But nothing inherently wrong with that. If if he's planning his videos that way, but it seems a bit weird. This is, this is exciting. So uh, right now, what I wanted to do as well is um, let you know a couple announcements. One is I now have a phone number that you can text to get the high vibe thought of the day. And I, I don't post it every day, but a couple times a week, I'm getting ready actually right now after this podcast episode to go send out a message that is um, to you know, everybody that's in my phone that is connect, that wants the high vibe thought of the day. And sometimes I'll be posting quotes, top recommended reading materials and um, stuff like that. And, and um, I wonder how much that text pa package costs, that text bundle costs. Be interesting to find out. I haven't actually looked into costs of stuff. I mean, you know, everyone has to earn a living, but you know, some of this stuff is, yeah, it's pretty, pretty weird like the epiphanies I'm going through and stuff. So if you want to be a part of that, you just you can text me at 424-304-0104 and just text me the word VIBE, V-I-B-E. And that's 424-304-0104. And you'll also get, uh, yeah, just the books I'm reading, quotes, uh, ideas of the day, synchronicity. Like I, I try to tap into like the collective as well to like give things that I think are powerful reflections. Uh, that's the See, look, more buzzwords, synchronicities, reflections. It's just full of new age buzzwords. This announcement. The second announcement, or the thing that I want to talk about, is something that I've been using for a while that I've been wanting to really try out before I really promote it. And that is something that I use for sleep. It is something called Chili Pad. Now, Chili Pad is something that I've been using for a couple months now. And uh, it really does work. Now, at first, I thought this is a it sounds like it'd be an unpleasant thing. Basically, it's this pad that goes in between that of your back and the mattress, and it goes like underneath the, the mat. It goes over the mattress, in between the mattress and the sheet. It's this pad that has like these kind of like coils in it that that connect to this little unit that's to the side of your bed. And what this unit does is it keeps it cold or hot. And what it does is it it, it it's on all night while you're sleeping. And then what it does is it keeps your body temperature a few degrees colder than that of your natural body temperature, and that helps you get deeper sleep. And now you get many of you know I track my sleep using something called the Whoop, and it does. I don't know when you start involving technology and with sleep. I mean, we've got enough of that with with Wi-Fi at night. Uh, I don't know. I trust the the natural process of the body. Um, I think uh, I think technology is already taken over <laughs> during the day let alone the sleep but hey it might work i don't know too much about it give me much deeper sleep i get much more REM sleep and deep deep sleep and i've been using it for months now and i can absolutely 100 percent say that it has transformed my sleep if i sleep without it i don't get as much deep sleep i know that because i travel sometimes and i don't have it and i can definitely feel it uh, uh, difference in my sleep and sleep is one of the most important things that people don't realize it goes into recovery it goes into your mental uh, your own energy you'll have more energy if you sleep better and also just uh, your body recovery stress everything but yeah it's called the chili pad and um, I put mine at about 55 degrees and uh, it cools my body down just a little bit and you get used to sleeping with it you fall asleep much faster much better and you stay in deep sleep longer because your body is at a free, few degrees colder than your natural body temperature. And think about it, when you got covers over you at nighttime, different areas of your body will have different temperatures. And what happens is that a lot of times can wake you up. If you wake up a lot, that could be one of the reasons you're waking up a lot. It's getting too hot. And uh, that's why some people say they, they crank their AC all the way down to like 50, like 60 degrees, which sounds crazy, but it helps them sleep at night. Well, you don't have to do that. You can just get the chili pad put it on like 50 something degrees 
And as you're sleeping at night, you will notice you have better sleep. You will notice that you wake up feeling more refreshed. You have more energy during the day. So I'm a huge fan of Chili Pad. And right now, you can get... There's a discount and a commission code. Wait for it. <laughs> a discount if you go to aarondowdy.com slash chili pad. So it's A-A-R-O-N-D-O-U-G-H-T-Y dot com forward slash chili, C-H-I-L-I. So already we're six minutes in. We've got like a text bundle, probably a text bundle package. And now he's flogging some sleep thing. I P A D. C H I L I P A D, and you can see and you can get a percentage off of your chili pad. Check it out. Get chili pad. I'm a huge fan of it. I sleep with it every single night. I use it. If I don't use it, I could definitely feel it. It affects you know my sleep and everything. And um, yeah, huge fan of it. And anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you. I'm completely convinced. Episode that I've been using it for a couple months. Other than that, let's go on and get into the rest of the episode right now. Great, we can start. Seven minutes of selling. New York Times, it says an article that says, aliens in hiding until mankind is ready, says ex-Israeli space head. This has made a form, you could say, of mainstream media. Uh, people like Joe Rogan were sharing this. So many people have been sharing this. And this, I think, is really the first steps towards a lot of this information coming out. And in this episode, what I want to do is I want to share with you some different perspectives that I have on this, on understanding what is called the Galactic Federation, um, as it was referred to in the article. Uh, it actually even says that Trump was on the verge of saying, you know, actually, Bashar talked about this. Yeah, here we go. Savior Trump disclosing everything. <laughs> And the Q fans go wild. Was a uh, seminar that Bashar did. So Bashar, Daryl Inka, many of you guys know I've talked about some of his um, channels. It's kind of like an Abraham Hicks type thing. I know it's a little more esoteric. Wonderful. Abraham Hicks, who promotes the poison dart. I watched, a, I watched an actual proper interview with Bashar um, some months ago. Not where he's sitting in his seat and you know, doing all that and talking in a funny way, but an actual, and his energy is awful. Like I was just picking up and reading his energy field and something really badly off. Um, but he's gonna go, I mean, he's already promoting Abraham Hicks, the, the Vortex, now Bashar. This guy's got over a million followers as well. So again, another, New Ager with a huge following. Uh, yeah, as I've said in other videos, I think my channel has probably been going as long as his, and I've still only got about six and a half thousand. So, who knows? Maybe he's better looking than me or something. <laughs> uh, for some of you listening, but he's been around for 30 years doing this, and it's been very consistent with his information. But one consistently inconsistent thing people were asking about was this because it's highly likely that over the next few years, more and more people are gonna become aware that ETs exist, and there's gonna be soft forms of disclosure happening. When you look at the word alien, it has the word lie in it. A lion. UFOs, in my opinion, don't exist. What I do believe exists are interdimensionals, and these are energies or frequencies that can come in and out of this dimension. The whole idea that there's kind of physical, I mean, I'm not saying that there isn't anything anywhere in the world, but uh, sorry, in, in like the multiverse, but I think it's being used here as a, another huge deception and another booby trap. And one thing that was mentioned years ago in a, in a session in a, you know the seminars that he does is that it's very highly probable that someone like trump who would in a way knowing trump's personality he may want to be the person to actually kind of spill the beans in a way to be the one that kind of say it and i think see again an, another another person with a huge following promoting trump and 
you know, it, it's this. Trump basically has kept all the patriots at bay. It's kept everyone from rebelling because they're all waiting on Trump. So a lot of these people are pushing the Trump stroke Q agenda um, for multiple reasons, but that being the main one. Now, if you look at where we are in the timeline of Q, uh, it's another date passed yesterday with, with nothing not happening. And so we're, we're almost a year into this pandemic whereby a lot of these patriots would have stood up and maybe rebelled or, or whatever, but they haven't because of they, they think that Trump's uh, taking down the deep state. And so all these uh, new ages, a lot of these big new ages are, are pushing the, the Trump uh, Q uh, uh, narrative. So it doesn't surprise me that he's doing that here. At, uh, I think many presidents, by the way, have no, I, many presidents for sure, I believe, maybe not all of them, no, I think maybe all of them <laughs> um, have known that ETs do exist to a certain level, uh, especially the last like maybe 50, 60 years. And they, they I, think, I think there was something to do with Eisenhower or some of them FDR, I forget, but there was- Laura, Owls, Laura Eisenhower also guys uh, promoting Trump as well. So there you have it. Probably should do a video on her as well. The other things that have pointed to this like conclusion, but just in general, what it says, it says, Trump was on the verge of revealing aliens' existence, but the aliens in the Galactic Federation are saying, wait, let people calm down first. Yeah, cool story, bro. Tid, who helped Israeli space security program from 1981 to 2010, reportedly said, they don't want to start mass hysteria. They want to first make us seen and understanding. Well, let me also tell all of you. If these beings really wanted to help us, as if they would care about, you know, mass hysteria, considering what's going on here. You know, everyone's just waiting. Trump's waiting, the Galactic Federation's waiting. And so what, what's happening is people are waiting because they think, oh, you know, someone else is going to come soon. <laughs> I'm going to be saved soon. Same as religion, you know, Jesus. Jesus is, is going to come and uh, save people. Since I went through my awakening in 2012, I have been... Um, Selling. <laughs> ...in different aspects of this. I've known about... I don't share this on my channel a lot because I guess it's a little bit more out there and I've kind of been gauging... The, some of the content I share with when I think some people are more open to it. And I have made or naive videos on ETs before, but I, I kind of hold back sometimes, but I'll tell you what. Please do. <laughs> this information coming out, and it's been coming out as well, that um, I, I just, I feel more and more comfortable talking about it moving forward. And I think, I think that uh, it'll continue to come out. And I think certain presidents, like it says Obama, recently refused an interview on The Late Show with uh, Stephen Colbert to confirm or deny the existence of extraterrestrial life based on the top secret US records. Um, I believe that Obama has known about it for a long time. I believe a lot of the president, and I'm not a conspiracy person that's like, believes everything I read, by the way. Since I went through my awakening in 2012, I became aware of a lot of this. I'll share with you how and why, but also, um, there's a lot of things I read that I don't necessarily resonate with, but you have to... Yeah, anything with any kind of truth in it or anything that doesn't feel good, probably. Your own level of discernment. But this is coming out in the mainstream New York Times, literally New York Post. It's coming out, and um, this is how I think soft disclosure is going to happen. It's not necessarily going to happen with the... Uh, the White House making, I mean, unless somebody like Trump is like, I want to say it. <laughs> Can you imagine Trump just saying, he's like, I really want to say it. <laughs> but in, um, but there's, there's different perspectives of this. So first off, let's go a little bit deeper into this. Now, first off, just so you know kind of where I'm coming from before I even get into it, because if you haven't listened to my videos before or know who I am, you might think, oh, this sounds like some... We're 11 minutes in and he's really spoken about nothing in particular. Uh, I don't really know what the point of this is. He spent the first seven or eight minutes selling stuff. Uh, then he's just spoken about uh, an article in the New York Post, but 
There's not really any su anything of substance here. Like out there, esoteric guy. I'm not that. I I do. I am into that kind of stuff, but I, I very much like the practical, um, like grounded, down to earth type mentalities as well. And um, what really opened my mind to this stuff is back in 2012, I went through a spiritual awakening. I learned meditation, completely transformed my life. And I also knew, some pe knew someone in my life. Wow, you learned how to uh, get addicted to false highs. <laughs> Equates to a spiritual awakening. See, to me, a spiritual awakening is, is like, it's like being dragged through a hedge. <laughs> Because first of all, you find out that we're all being lied to. Then you find out that there's a depopulation program. <laughs> and then you realize, actually, I need to sort my own shit out. <laughs> and so then you have to face all of that. But these, these people, they sell this uh, spiritual awakening. Like um, they just woke up one day and they were floating on a cloud. And it does make me laugh because... I think a true spiritual awakening is, it can be quite traumatic and uh, very difficult with ups and downs. It was, I guess what you'd call Freemason or someone that was in like the back, kind of like a, I don't know, secret society type thing. And um, what I learned from this person is very interesting. I learned uh, and started looking into this whole conspiracy, secret side of the government or whatever you want to call it because I knew someone in my life that was a part of it. So it wasn't like I was just reading something online and I was like, oh, this looks very interesting. Let me go down this rabbit hole. I was getting information and learning about things that I kind of denied, but I was like, maybe there's something here. And it really started to link up with all the other things I was learning. And it had to do with also meeting somebody that, or knowing somebody for most of my life that worked at an underground facility for over 20 years and towards the end of this mm. <laughs> okay since life they started to actually open up and share some of this information now this person as well to get in had to go through back in the 70s the 70s and the 80s i think maybe the 80s I had to go through extensive process just to get in. And one of the reasons this person got in is because they are a very eccentric thinker. So they get into this certain sector of government or whatever we want to call it. And it wasn't, then stopped there. The friends and family of this person all got interviewed as well. It was a very extensive process. This person gets in and is involved uh, at working at some underground facility. This person flew 200 to 300 times a year to some undisclosed uh, place that they don't even know where it is. They were in a plane that didn't even have windows. They then go to some underground thing. And what this person has told me is that there's underground facilities that are beyond anything we can imagine as far as size goes. And what this person was involved with was transporting, transporting material to these different places, almost like construction material to help build them. Now, what this person has also told me is that they've been around and seen some things that most of the general public would completely think are BS and would completely deny. Um, his video strangely finishes there. I, I, he's not really edited it properly or, or finished it off. But yeah, as you can see, uh, kind of not really anything of substance there. He's promoting you know, aliens, Galactic Federation of Light, Trump, Bashar, Abraham Hicks, all the channelers. Uh, I, like I say, I wouldn't trust any channelers. Uh, most of the beings that they, well, probably all of the beings that, that these people are channeling are, are of the false white light. I've had personal experience uh, of people that work with them or are channeling with them. And, uh, yeah, just uh, as I say, you know, the first 10 minutes almost, well, it was maybe not 10 minutes, six, seven minutes, was just all selling a load of gumph. And as I say, the, the guy comes off as uh, more of a salesman and he's kind of latching on to spirituality to, you know, to sell all of his stuff. And as I say, I, you know, there's nothing inherently wrong with, you know, we all have to make a living, but 
it just when that's the kind of overriding message of the video you have to wonder what what the intention really is and all this texting stuff and I don't know it's it's a whole load of cool cool aid with deceptions thrown in and uh, yeah so guys let me know what you think in the comments section below um, please keep giving me your suggestions I've got a huge list to get through um, also guys uh, just before I go please don't forget to subscribe to my bit shoot or library um, as I say don't know how long I'm gonna be on here takes two seconds to just go to BitChute. Um, I'll put the link in description because um, I want you guys, uh, I don't want to lose you guys. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon and take care and stay strong.